I've had cancer since I was two years old. I've been through hell and back. Between that and me almost dying three times is a lot for most kids. It's life. Life gives you what you can handle and can't. And for me, I've handled it pretty damn good because look at me, I'm here now. I first met Tristan in 2019 when I was volunteering with the San Bernardino Sheriff's Rodeo and I was asked to start a program called the Golden Circle of Champions. My job was to go find a child who had been battling cancer and bring them into our rodeo family, introduce them to rodeo, provide them with a VIP experience at our rodeo and also at the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas. There's a lot of inspiration there that I see that I take from him because someone that's gone through as much as he has, or even any of these kids, I don't think people really understand how much they go through. We've been sent home on hospice twice. Never expected him to make it through Christmas of 2009. He had a big fall summer of 2017, and he was told never to get on his horse again. Fractured his neck, broke vertebrae one and two, had a major skull fracture, bleeding in the brain, and they didn't think he would survive. I kind of look at it, well, He's battled cancer, he's battled falling off the horse, and I can lock him in the closet, but he's not happy and he's not doing what he loves, and this is really what he loves. Cancer is hell. It's hell and back, but that's what it is. What baby? But it gives you something to fight for. Like I had something to fight for. I had all these horses to fight for. And that's why I didn't give up. And I won't ever give up fighting because it's me. That's what made me, me. You're like a pocket horse. You're not gonna go anywhere. Oh, you. You'll follow me around with a puppy all day long. After having experienced the Golden Circle of Champion program, Tristan came to us and said he wanted to help us with the next program. And so we thought, great, he's good at roping and we'll have him teach Boy Scouts when they come over on Saturday morning at the rodeo. And so we brought him over and he was excited about it. And he did a great job and had a great turnout. And now this year, he's coming back to make it even bigger and better. I love helping people, it's just me. And doing this for these kids is amazing to do it for them because I know they gladly appreciate it. So doing this for them makes me feel like I'm a better person. So today's a big day for the clinic. I'm helping give back to the people that helped me get this far and um, I'm gonna help these kids learn how to swing one of these things today. And see how that goes. With the rope in my hand and my horse, and that's pretty much my happy place. Um, being on top of my horses and rodeoing and doing what I'm good at doing and putting in all the use is what I love doing. So I'll keep sticking to it. I think we're gonna try to bring the trailers in. My idea was that they'd be kind of wrapped around. Yeah, we need, we need our white easy ups. And then we'll just use the rope to tie down. This is exciting and I'm glad to see the kids come over and have them experience horses probably for the first time in their lives. Hopefully it turns out good and if it does, it does, it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but I feel like it's gonna turn out pretty good today. Yeah, it's a lot of work to put in for a good cause and it's it's enjoyable to watch all the kids do something that they don't normally get a chance to do so for us to expand our western heritage into the minds of youth
just helps save that lifestyle that uh, so many don't get to see. Yeah. So proud of this you. is more than last year. I know. I will do one more demonstration for you guys. Oh, thank you. Okay. We go. Let go. Let this one go. Only this one. Do not let these two go. Only this one. When I release it, I let this one. Go. You let this one. Go. Like this. If I had more time, I would teach every single one of them how to swim the rope properly. Um, it's just, we don't have enough time. I'm really proud of Tristan. He learned how to adapt to changes that were happening and the plan that he had wasn't really gonna work out. He was able to overcome and adapt to that and make it work to, uh, so that he could help more kids and do a better job. And he seemed really excited about it and I think he feels like he was able to really help other kids today. A lot of these kids have a lot of smiles on their faces and they're having a lot of fun, so that's that's what we're here and what it's about. Being a teacher to this kid makes me feel happy because I'm getting to do what I'm good at doing. I believe it went pretty dang good today. You get put this way, and this is the way God puts you, you can't do anything about it. And I realized that's just what it is. The one thing I want out of life is just to give me a chance. I go to rodeos and sometimes I win and sometimes I don't. These kids are faster than I am. Some kids I just can't keep up with. I need to learn to compete at that level to be good. And maybe go into the finals, I don't know. But it's what I want to do.